Websites expose a lot of information. Malicious actors use them to plan and execute attacks. This is a tool that analyzes a website and performs various security checks. In this video, we will learn how OSINT tools like WebCheck can help us protect websites from bad actors. Unlike other OSINT tools, WebCheck is completely free and open source. That also means you can host it yourself using various options. They also have a public instance which anyone can use. I provided the link in the description below. This tool will produce a lot of information as you see here. It gives you an x-ray vision for your website. And in 20 seconds, you can see what the attackers see, so meaning the scans should be fast. Let's type something like OpenAI. Or we can just remove the HTTPS and it will prepend it automatically. After that, it will perform various scans. We see on the top right corner the jobs being ran. It finished, but seems some jobs failed. We'll have a look at them later, but for now, let's just go through the available results. One of the most important information is the server location where the site is being hosted. This shows you the exact location of the IP address. At the bottom, you see the exact longitude and latitude. So what value this information can give us? Authorities can look up information about a malicious website and pinpoint its exact location. For website performance, site owners can use this to understand the geographical location and to implement caching mechanisms to speed up the delivery of information to clients. The next one is the SSL certificate scan, which is another crucial information. SSL certificates tells us the authenticity of a website. Presence of a certificate is not enough. We must also ensure it is issued by a trusted provider provider like Let's Encrypt. During SSL negotiation, cryptographic keys are exchanged between our browser and the server. During that process, a mathematical operation is performed to ensure keys are safely shared between the two parties. The curve values you see here means it uses a widely accepted standard. In short, this tells you whether it uses a weak or strong algorithm. Lastly, the expiration details of SSL certificates can also be seen here. This is automatically checked by the browsers and we don't typically need to check it ourselves. This means when you visit a site with expired certificates, the browser will warn you and prevent you from accessing it. To help you understand the results, there is also a small tip on the upper right corner. For example, DNS security is not something most of us are familiar with, but let's see what this will tell us. It's possible for man-in-the-middle attackers to spoof DNS records and lead users to phishing sites. That's because by default, DNS protocol doesn't have security mechanism in place. The DNS security extension secures lookups by signing the DNS records using public keys. Another option is to use DNS over HTTPS or DNS over TLD. As you see, by just going through some of the information, you will gain understanding on different aspects of your website and learn new concepts. A while ago, when starting the scan, we see several errors. Those might have prevented us seeing additional useful results, so let's diagnose some of them. The first job that failed is about quality scanning. We see here that it looks for the Google API key, which we don't have. Looking at the source code, we see that this is a JavaScript application that gets the Google API key from the environment variable. It then uses Google PageSpeed Insight. So what is this tool? It reports the user experience metrics for mobile and desktop devices. It provides suggestions on how the page can be improved. Based from the type of information it tries to gather, it looks for performance, accessibility, and best practices. Since we don't have a Google API key readily available right now, I guess we can just skip this scan. The next error is from the scan job that analyzes the tech stack. It is looking for a specific Chromium revision. Doing a quick search in the GitHub issues, other users are also experiencing the exact problem. The temporary workaround is to set the following environment variable. Since we can run this in Docker, we can easily inject that settings when launching the container. We pass dash E together with the fix we saw from the GitHub issue. Then we need to expose the port so we can access this locally. Lastly, we can just leave the image format without the version number so it can pull the latest image. I already have this image on my machine. That's why it got started immediately. We can now try to access this on our browser via port 3000. We type again open AI and wait for the scans to finish. We now see the tech stack results. The site is built mostly from JavaScript-based frameworks like Node.js, React, and Next.js. This is an important information for attackers since they can focus on critical vulnerabilities affecting those programming languages. If you try this tool on a website with many vulnerabilities, you will be surprised how much misconfigurations this tool can detect. There are more information we can see from this tool. This includes some interesting things like global rankings, which tells us how popular the website is. You can also see the DNS records, which can disclose information such as the cloud hosting provider. Headers and cookies are also detected, which is a common target of attackers since they are always linked to authentication and authorization. It also shows you security.txt, which can be used by security researchers for disclosing vulnerabilities. It can also do port scanning. 
Just be aware that most modern websites will ban your IP address if you perform scanning very aggressively. This tool can also perform web spidering, which can reveal the site map and different endpoints. Basic network connectivity tests are here as well, like trace routes. Even environmental impact like carbon footprint is also disclosed, which is really interesting. And it can show you threat status information, such as phishing activities. If you need further research, it gives you a list of complementary tools you can use at the bottom. WebCheck is an all-in-one OSINT tool that can perform various tasks. This is a great way to footprint a website. I hope you learned something today. If you find my content valuable, please support me by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. See you on the next one.